in VM, blah, 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 blah. You know, I say the name of this product like literally 50 times a day and I can't say it when I'm hitting record. Hey everybody, in today's video, we're gonna be diving into vRealize Network Insight. In this case, I'm using version 6.3. Now, the last video I did on Network Insight, I think was like 5.3, so it's been quite a while. There's been a lot of changes. Now, in this video specifically, I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite queries. So if you're not familiar with Network Insight, it's basically a tool that allows you to collect data from a variety of data sources these can be things like vCenter, it could be physical switches, um, F5, Cisco routers, switches, etc. Just a variety of different sources, native AWS, native Azure, etc. Right? So it'll take data from a variety of sources, collapse it, and allow you to basically present that data in a variety of ways. So you can run queries, there's a bunch of kind of default searches you can run and little dashboards and that kind of stuff. So today's video is all about VM visibility, really, for network flows. So we're taking data, feeding it into Network Insight, and presenting it back. Now this actually came up because I have a customer that wanted to understand what their VMs were talking to, what ports they were talking on, that sort of stuff. Now they weren't specifically asking what ports are enabled on the VM, they were asking what actual traffic flows are you seeing in my environment to that VM. Now we could see some of that with other solutions, but one of the things that's really cool about Network Insight is there's no agents or anything. So we're tapping directly into vCenter and the distributed switch, and that's how we're getting all of this data. We're gonna jump right in and I'll show you some of my favorite queries. All right, so here we are inside of Network Insight. Now, if you're not familiar with the tool, the first thing I wanna point out is we have this little search bar here, and this is where we can build queries. So for example, we can say things like top five, and you'll see here we can say VM, NSX Manager, Host, VLAN, VXLAN, whatever you want to put. There's a lot of stuff here we can we can use. Let's say we do top five host, um, order by CPU, I don't know, cores. So we can build these queries and make useful you know, displays basically in whatever data we're looking for. Now this wasn't a canned search that I did. This was just something I just randomly kind of built out. So my point there is that's what we're talking about when I say queries. We're gonna create something there that is interesting, specifically as it relates to VM visibility and understanding what's talking to those VMs. So as I mentioned before, I had a customer that was trying to understand um, all of the flows going to one particular VM. So in this case, we could do something like flows to VM, and, and actually, you know, we'll go with this bastion host. So if I go ahead and do that, I start typing B, we get a, a couple of different entities here that show up. Let's go with Bastion Host. And I'm just gonna hit enter to search. So what this now displays is all of the flows in my environment, whether it's from physical, whether it's from the internet, doesn't matter, to this Bastion Host VM that we're talking about here. So in this case, we can see we have uh, a flow from Shanghai, China to our VM on port 22. So that's kind of interesting. We also have 612 other flows in addition to this one that I just pointed out. Now we can always export this, which is pretty cool if we wanna share this data, something like that. Uh, but what I think is really interesting is now, let's say we wanted to see all of the flows to this VM, uh, and in my customer's case, they wanted to see a breakdown of the protocols being accessed on the VM. We could say, let's go ahead and uh, let's group those by, uh, let's do destination port. And actually, you know, we'll go ahead and destination port name in this case and I'm gonna hit enter. So we see that all of the traffic in this case to this VM is SSH. All, every single one of those flows I just showed you is all SSH flows. Now if we wanted to go in and dive in and take a look at those, I could click here and it'll take us to what we were just looking at. So it's not really anything new, but the point is we can now see a breakdown of all the protocols being accessed on this VM, which is kind of cool. All right, so another case that I had was a customer wanting to use Network Insight to figure out um, which VMs were essentially running like DNS, for example. So uh, in this case, we could do something like, we could say, uh, show me VMs where incoming port, right there, port is 53. So I'll go ahead and hit enter. Now what this is showing me is VMs in my environment that are essentially talking on port 53. In this case, it's, it's DNS traffic. Now. That's pretty cool, uh, but we can also nest those. So we could say, you know, in this case, I had this one for operating system. So I could say, you know, and their operating system should be, you know, let's build this one out. We'll do equals to, and then we can pick whatever operating system we want. So if I want to see, let's say, all of my server 2016 VMs that happen to be talking on port 23 or 53, I can go ahead and do that, hit enter. There we go, I have eight of them. So this could be really interesting. 
Um, another thing we can do is, that's really kind of cool here is we can say, uh, show, show me flows where, let's say, um, let's say our source country is, let me just pick one, I'll say um, South Korea. Let's just do South Korea, that should be good. Oh, so we're gonna look at flows where source country is South Korea. We can always build on this. So we have a thousand flows from South Korea into our environment. Maybe we'll want to say um, group those by. Let's go with uh, let's go with destination VM. Okay, so what we can see here is that we have basically a breakdown of all the traffic coming from South Korea. Where is it going to? In this case, we have a list of basically how many flows are going to each VM if that traffic is coming from South Korea. So pretty cool stuff we can do here. I will show you one last thing here. So if you get into Network Insight and you're doing a hands-on lab or something, you wanna play around, really cool tip here. If you just go to the search bar and type help, hit enter, this will show you 292 searches or queries that you can start with. These are just kind of a starting point. You can kind of go through here. Let's see, uh, let's, let's see if we can find something useful. Uh, so yeah, if we wanted to see a list of incoming flows per VM ordered by traffic volume, so where is all the traffic coming to in my environment? So I showed you all the traffic flows from South Korea to one VM, but what if I wanted to see kind of where where's the bandwidth being used ultimately in my environment? Where is it going to? Where is that destination at? I could use this query. So I could just run this query right here. So there's some really good ones here. That's a really good spot to uh, kind of come in, just type help, and it'll give you some really kind of cool queries. Um, another thing you can do if you go to the search bar and you basically you can type anything just click here at the very bottom it says search exchange if you click that that opens up this uh, VMware page and this gives you the same information but I actually like the display a little better so it kind of breaks it down by type of query so what are you looking for um, I actually had a customer wanting some information on their data stores from Network Insight so if you go to storage we can go right here, so data store free space. So if we wanted to see that, we can go ahead and copy that, head right back to Network Insight. We'll go ahead and paste that, and there we go. We can see our data stores and kind of a breakdown of all the free space on our data stores. So that said, that's all I have for you in this video. I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy. I've been a little bit lazy on my filming some of my videos, but I promise I'm ramping it back up. So look out for some new NSX 3.2 stuff coming out very soon obviously some Network Insight stuff and, and probably whatever else I have time for. We'll see. Anyway, that said, stay safe and healthy. Again, take care, everyone.